Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. So in this video, I'll be doing my daughter's nails. So I'm going to start off first by gently pushing back her cuticles. I left this in real time speed so you guys can see that I'm not being rough or anything like that. We're just gently pushing back her cuticles and scraping away any of that dried skin that is on the nail plate. And then here I sped up a little bit so it, it looks a little more vigorous, but trust me, I'm being gentle. Next, I'm going in with this cuticle clean bit from Todak USA, and I'm just working this around her cuticle areas, further getting up any of that crusty cuticle dry skin. Um, and as always, just being gentle, my nail drill is on the lowest setting and um, you just want to make sure to get up all of this, um, you know, that white, you know, crusty skin that's on the nail plate. Um, and this just ensures that your polish is going to last longer, especially since we're working on her natural nails. Um, we want this polish to last without chipping. So it has been some time since I've done her nails. If you guys been following this channel, you notice the last time I did her nails was when she went to her eighth grade prom and that was about a year ago. So yeah, it's been a minute since I've done her nails. She doesn't get her nails done often. Um, she is a violinist and um, she has to keep her nails very, very short. I normally don't do anything to them. So now I'm just gonna take the hand file and take down the length and even it out. As I stated before, she is a violinist, so she has to have her nails very, very short. Then after that, I'm just gonna go in with the buffing block and we're taking away the shine away from her natural nails. And this just ensures that the polish sticks to her nail well and doesn't chip. All right, so now I'm using some paper towel dipped in alcohol and I'm just wiping off all of that dust. All right, so now I'm going in with this base gel polish and I'm going to apply this to all of her nails and we're just going to do a nice, thin, even coat. I normally don't use base, base polish because I have acrylic nails, so you don't really need a base. Um, coat with those but for natural nails you need a base coat so that is what I'm doing here and so I'm just going to um, let that cure in the LED lamp for 60 seconds and while that's curing we're going to apply it to her left hand so if you're doing polish on your natural nails you have to make sure to use a base coat All right, so after curing that, I'm going in with the Poochie's Nails Super Shine Gel Top Coat, and I'm applying this to all of her nails as well. And we're doing nice, even coats. We don't wanna see any dry spots or anything. And we also wanna be very neat, so you don't wanna flood the cuticles or anything like that, because since we're going in with the Chrome Powder, um, if you flood the cuticles or wherever that gel polish is, is where the powder is going to stick to, so. Please be neat. Um, and I also want to mention that this gel top coat is a no wipe gel top coat, which means that it doesn't have that sticky residue once it cures. So those are the type of gel top coats that you need when you're working with chrome powder. All right, so now I'm taking my makeup applicator brush and we're just gonna rub on this beautiful Orchid Chrome Powder. You guys went crazy over this powder when I used it in my last nail video. 
and everybody was asking me, are you gonna sell it? Are you gonna sell it? And yes, we have added it to the website. It is currently on pre-order and those orders will be going out very soon. So if you guys want to be the first to get them, head over to longcareprettynails.com and check out the chrome powder. So yeah, I'm just making sure to brush it on very well. And as you can see, most chrome powders that you use, you need a dark base, but this one is so pigmented that you do not even need a dark base. But if you were to use a dark base, it would just be that much more intense. Um, but this is the most gorgeous chrome powder ever. This is like super high quality. The powder is super, super fine. I'm just gonna let it speak for itself here. <laughs> Oh, it's just gorgeous. I just love the shine on this. It's so pretty. All right, so after applying all of the chrome powder, I'm just gonna lightly dust off the excess and we're gonna seal it in with a layer of the gel top coat. Once again, making sure to apply this very neatly, trying not to flood the cuticles or the side walls and just making sure to seal in all of that chrome powder that's on the nail because anything that is not sealed by the top coat will wash off when you wash your hands yeah i know it looks crazy all over her cuticles but trust me it's gonna wipe off when when we ready for it to wipe off <laughs> So while this hand is carrying, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the gel top coat on her right hand. And after curing both hands, I'm just gonna wipe off the excess chrome powder with alcohol. And this is the finished look. And now her nails look super cute while she's playing Smash Bros. <laughs> so yeah, this chrome powder does work on natural nails as well. And I just think this is so cute. She's had her nails done for some days now and they still look really, really good and no chipping. So if you guys are interested in this chrome powder, head over to longcareprettynails.com and check out the shop. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you in my next one.